in the distance the great black mountain range to the north. Looking at beautiful purple blue, the setting sun. Many of the succulent flowers in this Meerkat Magic Valley are starting to flower after the recent rainfall that we've had here. Although being a semi-desert, the Klein Karoo or Little Karoo around Otsa in South Africa in the Western Cape doesn't usually experience much more than about 200 to 250 millimeters of rainfall in an entire year. Uh, the dominant male, Inyati, coming up, scent marking everyone, checking the entrance. Usually with his paired scent glands he'll first give what we like to call a stamp of approval, a scent mark sign, smell graffiti, letting everyone else know that it is safe to go below ground into the burrow. Sniffing the dominant female, Jabulani. And all of these moaning kind of sounds that can be heard from the meerkats, what we call content sounds. There's no aggression, they're not on guard or anything like that at the moment. It's just what we'd consider to be comfort or relaxing kind of sounds. Everything is fine, but not the same as the high-pitched twittering bird-like sounds when meerkats are on guard or being active sentinels. It's one of the latest the group is staying up as we're going towards the summer months now definitely even with this cool breeze there seems to be no real rush to go below they're waking up just before six o'clock at the moment and it is now just going on quarter to seven now in midsummer the meerkats will be going to sleep at about quarter past eight waking up just after four o'clock in the morning winter they'll be waking up from as late as seven o'clock to eleven o'clock in the morning and they'll be going to bed at about five o'clock in the afternoon ah the first one starting to get ready to go below Jabulani coming in from the right being the leader of the group she's usually the one who decides when they're going to sleep when they're going to leave the burrow <laughs> whole huddle starts moving below. The sounds I make again are just a reassurance to the animals to know that it's just me. They're very accustomed to my presence over many many years of working with them. And it's just so that they don't have to keep looking to see where I am. They know where I am. They know I'm not a predator because I'm not using stealth. I'm not hiding my presence from them. It just lets them know as well not to be disturbed by me. I can also mask any other sounds I might make like crunching twigs and scraping sounds which is very important so that we don't disturb these incredible animals unnecessarily. Jabulani is still up and about on the far right. The abdomen looking very distended now. She's about midway in her pregnancy already. Some cooperative digging here, some house cleaning, digging aerobics, just a little bit before going to sleep. But again, the special membranes, the meerkat's eyes, the windscreen wipers as I like to call them, the nictitating membranes, just keep that sand out of the eyes as they flick from the inside to the outside of the eyes. Just like cats and dogs have. That's quite unusual for Jabulani, the dominant female, to be the last one to go below. see you again at sunrise before six o'clock tomorrow morning.